people, it's Katai. <laughs> Welcome to my lunch break. Um, so yeah, just taking a lunch break. And just, you know, it's kind of boring when you're like working from home. Excuse my movement around and see what time it is. I got like 10 minutes left of my lunch break. So I just get bored. I mean, I'm home. I'm working from home. I got my kids. They're taking naps and stuff right now. <clears throat> so yeah, so lunch break. So I was thinking doing like something like in the morning while I'm getting ready or just like a lunch break thing or call it maybe the coffee clutch where you know what coffee clutch is is basically where you're at a job and you sit there with your coffee clutch in your hand and you just talk shit around the water cooler. So and this is you know fortunately you can't do that while you're actually at work. So now I have to do that while I'm at home in my room <laughs> which is just bland. Okay, so Coffee Clutch, uh, one of my friends asked me about what I thought about um, Suicide Squad 2 movie. I said, well, you know, don't really do movie reviews on like a channel or whatever, so because I don't have the software and all that crap for editing, but just give my movie review on it. Now I did see it and then um, <clears throat> went back and watched a couple parts of it. Overall, I would have to say it was meh it was okay and i didn't hate it but i didn't love it either now i did like the first one i thought the first one was good i thought the first one was entertaining and funny this one had some funny parts in it but uh um it, it was just uh, you know had some entertaining parts in it um the cgi for king shark not a fan um, I didn't like how they portrayed King Shark in this movie. I thought they made him just like a dummy. And if anybody's like read the comics or anything else like that, like it depends. I, again, it depends on the writer. Whenever you're reading a comic book series, it always depends on the writer, whoever's writing the character. And this one made him just a simpleton. <laughs> the Hulk had more, you know, more complex dialogue. And that was really like... I don't know, it was just kind of crappy just because I like King Shark. I like the character and I just thought maybe they could have done it a, done him a little better, done him a little more justice, like Justice League uh the Justice League animated movies, Justice League Dark, the one like where he just kept saying um or Justice League Dark uh, Apocalypse or whatever. Um King Shark is a shark and then he turns around and he's like, it was an honor fighting next to you. It's like, okay, so the guy can talk. It's just, you know, in the Flash series, I didn't watch the Flash series all that much. I started watching it. And now that I have HBO Max, I think I can catch up on all the episodes on there. Because overall, I like the show. I like the character. The Flash is awesome. Um, I watched like the first two, like most of the first season and a part of the second season um when he started doing the crossovers with uh um supergirl wasn't too much of a fan of supergirl like the first two episodes of supergirl and it was just kind of yeah just wasn't feeling it but again the how the suicide squad had king shark not very good now the harley quinn animated series i do like how they have him as he's like really smart the voice everything the voice actor um i like that version of him better but in this one, they just made him just like a a moron. And I just thought they could have done him a little better. Um, can't get, I'm not going to give any spoilers because the movie's out. And people still haven't seen it, so I won't do any spoilers. If I do, I will put in the description spoilers in big letters. So don't watch it. But yeah, I'm not going to give anything away. But, <clears throat> you know, the characters in the beginning... Because there was uh, so many other different characters in this movie than the other one. And we're all thinking now it has to... It, it's got to kind of uh, um, go that way. Like, they're going to ice a couple of them. Um, but, I mean, again, watch the movie. If you don't want to watch it, fine. But, you know, watch clips of it online. But overall, it, it kind of went how I thought it would in the beginning. And I mean, Harley Quinn's Harley Quinn. Like, how many different ways can you do Harley Quinn? She's nutty. But she's also like one of those strong, <clears throat> kind of strong female characters. Colonel Flag just, 
hot as hell. <laughs> Joel Kinnaman is sexy as hell. Um, Idris Elba. I loved the banter between Idris Elba's character, Bloodsport, and uh, uh, John Cena's character, Peacemaker. Now, I don't like John Cena. And then after this whole thing with him apologizing for something in, like, Chinese, like, I didn't... But everybody's going on about that. It's like, what are you apologizing for, dude? You know, it's... You got First Amendment rights. It's freedom of speech. Speak your mind. You know, but again, like, he's an actor. His bread and butter is getting hired in Hollywood to get parts. And he says anything that his overlords don't like, then they're going to fire him. And he won't get any roles, which... Nuts, but whatever. I don't care. I don't care for him too much anyway. Um... But I did like the banter between his character Peacemaker and uh, Bloodsport. I, I just thought it, it was almost like, you know, um, who's the better killer kind of thing. And I just liked the, the, the banter between the two. I thought it was funny. Uh, Ratcatcher 2, I thought her character was pretty cool. Um, if people didn't notice in the movie, Taika Waititi. Um, he's the director of the Thor Ragnarok movie um great great director um if you haven't seen his movie uh, um i think it's called the uh, the wilder people it's good definitely see that movie the little boy that is in the movie the wilder people is also the one that was in deadpool 2 with the fire hands i forget his character's name but he's like the main character in taika's movie um in taika's movie the wilder people very good. I thought, you know, he would have had a bigger part. He's Ratcatcher 1, but how he went in the movie, I mean, it's just backstory. But, um, I, yeah, Ratcatcher, her character was okay. Um, again, Harley Quinn's Harley Quinn. Um, but overall, and at the end, like, there was, you know, some funny parts. You know, the kaiju part. You know, people don't know what I'm talking about. But I just thought, overall, it was okay. It wasn't trash, but it was okay. Like, if I watch it again, it'll be, I mean, if I'm bored and there's nothing really on. But overall, I didn't think it was horrible. It was just, it was, it was okay. Um, not gonna let the kids watch it because it's rated R and they're too little. But I am going to go watch Suicide Squad 1 again because I liked it so much better. Will Smith's character I thought was really good. And I, I just love Jai Courtney. I love Captain Boomerang. Thought they could have done him better, you know. He deserved better in that movie, in the second movie. But, again, yeah, no spoilers. So, but yeah. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If you don't want to see it, oh well. Uh, again, not going to do any spoilers. But other than that, I would say, like, out of five, I personally would rate it... I don't know. I, I, I don't think it deserves a one or a two three I don't know I'm gonna have to just go either a three or a 2.5 2.5 to a three I thought some parts could have been done better I thought a lot of characters could have done been done better uh, but overall yeah I'm gonna have to say 2.5 to three like a like a 2.5 and now I think about it it could have been done better and it was really long for what it was. I just thought it was it was just really long. The first movie not that long, but this one was just a little too long. And it's like where are they going with this character? Where are they going to go with this? And they just didn't go anywhere. I'm like this is just this just a waste of time. So yeah, I'm going to have to give it a 2.5. Um there's not a lot of movies I give 5 star on, but this one I want to say 2.5. It could have been better. It was meh. It could have been better and it was just too long. So again, that is oh, that is my time. My time is up. I have to get going back to work from my lunch break. But um, let's see, there's other movies that I will review. I guess I'll do some reviews. <laughs> I guess I could do that too. Um, there is uh, Wonder Woman 2. I saw not that long ago. My kids, my kids loved it. I didn't. The first one was good where she's in World War One or whatever. There's not a lot of movies that focus on World War One except for 1917. That is a good movie. That is a good movie. Um, if you haven't seen the movie 1917, see it. It's good. It's a little long, but it's really good. It's intense. If you're not a war movie buff, 
Um, but yeah, that movie I will give a solid five out of five. That movie is good. And Dunkirk. Dunkirk too. I give that about a 4.5. Those movies, very good. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Wonder Woman 2, I gave that a 1. Not too long. The end was like really intense with the, you know, things and whatever. But I just thought, I didn't like it. I thought Cheetah, she was cool. But just, it was just, nah, I didn't like it. So, all right, that is it. Lunch break is over. Got to go back to lunch. Go back to work. And as always, stay cool and be cool to each other. Bye-bye.